All right, so I was on Spitzer last night and uh, thought more about the, uh, the band. Let me just say this. Let's put aside, well, there's a couple issues. Let's first deal with the practicality of it. I don't know if this ban is going to work. I was wondering why not a tax. Uh, it works for cigarettes. I mean, I actually looked up uh, New York City municipal tax to see if I could find any sort of data on uh, the efficacy. <laughs> and the first story I saw was from, like, I think 2010, I don't know when, story in the New York Post about the increase in cigarette tax. And the first line was, I'm going to quit smoking now. <laughs> uh, like a complaint. And I was, I couldn't find anything about why there wasn't a tax, why he didn't oppose a tax. Now, I know there was an attempt to do it statewide. He didn't do one uh, citywide. There is an argument that it will impact um, poor people more. But you could have also said, okay, we're not going to do a tax on two-liter bottles in supermarket. Because I think it's very hard for people to carry around two-liter bottles of soda to drink. And if they're doing that, you know, they're doing that. But the data is pretty conclusive that soda is really harming kids. It's really harming kids. That, that's what the data says. And then there was a story by Sarah Cliff in the Washington Post. Other attempts to regulate soda have come with mixed results. Many cities and states have begun taxing sugary drinks. Research suggests that none of the new policies raise the price of soda enough to reduce consumption. When schools ban sugary drinks in their vending machines, students often make up for it uh, by drinking uh, more on the street or whatever it is. Portion size, on the other hand, has consistently been shown to affect how much we eat. In well no one well-known experiment, Philadelphia moviegoers were given either a medium or large bucket of stale, two-week-old popcorn. Those with the large bucket ate 33.6% more popcorn, despite the fact that it tasted pretty awful. When the package size of snack food is doubled, calories consumed tend to go up by about a third. The more general explanation of why large packages and portions increase consumption may be that they suggest larger consumption norms, writes Cornell University Brian Wansink. They implicitly suggest what might be construed as a normal or appropriate amount to consume. On the flip side, when portions get reduced, Matt, Calorie consumption goes down. Belgian researchers recently looked at what happens when they cut a group of school children's cookies in half. They found that the simple act of splitting the cookies into smaller pieces, even while offering kids the same total number of calories, reduced consumption by 25%. The average fast food soda is now seven times as large as it was in the 1950s. Bagels are twice as large as they were in the 1970s. Muffins, three times as large. You should know that a 16-ounce size of soda is now the small at McDonald's. So what is your argument, Matt? My argument is that it's just very, it's just very interesting what he's decided, what Bloomberg's decided gets uh, exempt from this. I mean, vitamin water has, uh, is exempt from this, and you know, diet sodas are exempt from this. When, I mean, every story I've seen about people getting uh, you know, fat from soda, it's not the regular Coke that does it, because people know, okay, I drink regular Coke, it's not good for me, so I gotta limit that. But people hear the word diet, and they think, oh, this is great for me, I'm gonna drink all the diet soda I can. And that's where I'm hearing people getting fat, but for some reason- Wait, how are people getting fat from, I mean, at least I think there's an argument about the Maybe not fat, but unhealthy or, or whatever, but I'm hearing that people you know, drink well, diet soda in excess because they think it's good for them because of the word diet. I think there's a good argument there. But that one is exempt from this. From this well, so you don't have a problem. It. You just think that it may not be as um, effective as it could be. Well, I do have a problem with it, actually. I All just right. think it's... All right. I will But I, will I, I concede, took the other argument I will direction concede now. that there's, this thing is like Swiss cheese. 
uh, and there's uh, it doesn't go far enough in in some respects, and that it it seems to be you know a lot of holes poked into it because uh, Bloomberg's a corporate taskmaster, and I also will concede that you know he could also what he could also do is make sure that kids are getting more exercise in schools by actually uh, having a decent physical ed program. Uh, I, I mean, I said this on Spitzer, you know, half the time my kids in gym, it, it consists of watching a video. Uh, so, uh, but putting aside the efficacy, what's the cost of it? There's no cost. It may not be effective, but I, I don't perceive the cost and I don't see a problem with it. I mean, I don't think it's any. It's, I don't think it's that big of a deal that people are making like such a big uh, uproar about it. But I mean, me personally, when I buy a large drink, I don't consume it in the same amount of time I consume a sixteen ounce one. I buy a large drink so I have. I don't have to go back out and get another one. Why not get two? Well, sometimes I do that, but it's just easier to hold one thing. Yeah. All right. Well, how about this? I want a six ounce soda. How come I don't get that? If there's a market for it, they should sell that. Well, maybe there would be. But uh, all right. So is that is it? Was that your argument? It's just it's not. I just think it's dumb, especially when he uh, announces that today is National Donut Day. Have yeah. you heard about that? No, I didn't know. Bloomberg about that. is is a celebrating National Donut Day today. He signed a decree and everything. Look, I, I'm no fan of Bloomberg. I think he's a douche. But uh, that does not, you know. That, that's not the issue here. I still think it's it's interesting that the twenty ounce soda bottles that manufacturers like Coca Cola make are okay, but uh, you know if if you want to get a, yeah, I don't get that. I that seems I get that BS to me. I think it's because he doesn't want to piss off Pepsi and Coca Cola and companies like that. This is clearly a t- an attack on local businesses like movie theaters and you know restaurants. I really do think that. Weird. Very weird. 